So first of all, opening up the application at the bottom right of my screen. It takes me straight onto some area I've downloaded. So already, if I want, I can click on the menu and go to download map. And that will allow me to select any area where I might want to download. So for example, there we go. I've got two white dots that appear when I'm touching the screen, which is quite handy. So I'll just select download for that section. And it's now going to start downloading. In the meantime, I'm going to go back to the Solent and just getting zooming in. Okay. So first of all, if I want to adjust my preferences at all, I'll just click on the menu. And I've got map options and I can adjust to make a sort of satellite terrain rather than the standard yellow land mass uh, which is quite useful if you want to see what your surroundings are like. I prefer it with no overlay, it means it loads much quicker. If you're struggling to see you can click on the easy view and it just makes everything a little bit bigger and bolder so I'm going to keep that on for now just to help make sure it's easier and I can also adjust my north up course up so obviously we prefer to have north up as it is a true chart so back to the Solent this is a bit of a trial run for video um, I can adjust the water level here so this is not something you ever really want to do because it messes with your head I'm not sure exactly there we go so you can see in blue here it's on zero meters and that's what we want it to be on we don't want to adjust our water height at all because that's just messing with our heads and the information that we've been given make sure it's in meters fishing mode you can adjust the shallow area um, so if you want you know, to have a dotted red dots marking the air, uh, dangerous areas you can prefer not to and then depth shading so you can see here from the depth shading and here I've got five meters selected and because uh, five meters I think is quite a good contour line to have especially in the Solent as mark danger so you can see when I zoom in here two meters that'll probably be the three meter and the five meter contour line I will mark the danger zone and everything else is white beyond that but you can adjust that depending on the size of your boat and where you're sailing if you're in the Mediterranean you might want to only have the 10 meter contour line as the danger zone or maybe even the 20 meters as it gets very sharp steep edged in the Mediterranean so going out of my options I'm going to keep it at five I can also adjust to have contour lines changed uh, so I can adjust here so that I don't have any contour lines beyond 10 meters. Um, I like to have all the contour lines, even if it makes the chart a bit messy and cluttered. You can turn on your seabed areas as well. I find this tends to make the chart a bit... I'm not sure if it's really working right now. Maybe you have to zoom in. No. This doesn't seem to be a very well adjusted part of the app so far so I'm just going to keep that off and community edits just lets you see little bits of information so I'm just going to leave that video for there so far